Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Legend of Coronation Street is imprisoned for murder. The charges against Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, for the murder of Lauren Bolton, Kate Fitton, this week will come as a shock to Coronation Street viewers. After Lauren vanished a few weeks ago, her friends quickly started to think that something nefarious was going on. DS Lisa Swain, Vicky Myers, once her absence was reported to the police, got to work right away, but the evidence she uncovered gave her cause for concern. After Roy thoroughly cleaned Lauren's apartment as a favor for Evelyn Plummer, Maureen Lipman, DS Swain began to have doubts about him. As a result, she eventually arrested Roy for Lauren's murder following multiple police interviews and witness accounts. Roy has been the victim of internet trolls and do-it-yourself detectives ever since, and the situation will only worsen in the days to come. This week, Lauren's mother figure pays Roy a visit. During their altercation, Lauren trips and falls, hitting her head. After the altercation, Roy is subjected to D.S. Swain's harsh interrogation while being accompanied by attorney D.D. Bailey, Shanique Sterling Brown. When it comes to investigating Roy's past, D.S. Swain doesn't hold back and makes it quite evident that she still firmly believes that he was the one who killed Lauren and disappeared. The episode, which premieres on Friday, April 12th, features D.D. returning to Roy's roles by himself and having to inform everyone that he is being detained and faces charges related to Lauren's death. Alone in his police cell, poor Roy awaits his court date with confusion and fear. Actor David Nielsen reflected on Roy's situation and said, he's totally innocent. In addition to being innocent of the crime, Roy is also an innocent person in every other way. He was naive to assume that being innocent meant that he would be seen to be innocent. He never thought for one minute that it would come to this. He truly felt that if he simply answered everything honestly, it would all be okay. David hinted that amid this tragic plot, viewers will see a peek of the early Roy Cropper. The way this plot jumps back 29 years to 1995, when Roy initially came, is what I find appealing. It reminds me of the early Roy Cropper days when people thought he was strange and were skeptical of his behavior. And everything that has transpired in the past, even the kidnapping of their foster child, will be used against him. Everything about this plot makes it engaging to play and follow as it develops. Could Roy be facing a lengthy prison sentence given that he is the lone suspect in Lauren's case? Or, before it's too late, will Roy's loved ones be able to uncover the truth about Lauren's abduction and cleanse his name? Spoilers for Coronation Street reported abruptly as a deadly cult gains traction. In future scenes on Coronation Street, Toya Habib, Georgia Taylor, worries about Leanne Battersby's, Jane Danson, future as she becomes more and more entangled in Rowan Cunliffe's, Emery's Cooper, cult. For weeks, the evil conman has been hosting damaging seminars at the Chariot Square Hotel, drawing the interest of Leanne and her misbehaving son Simon Barlow, Alex Bain. Sam Blakeman, Jude Reardon, his stepbrother, sustained a concussion after he unintentionally smashed his car into a bollard when he began to exhibit an alarming dependence on alcohol. Later on, the court issued an 80-hour community service order and a six-month driving prohibition for him. Leanne offered to drive him to the hotel's self-help group after learning about it, but she also stayed to talk to the engaging lecturer Rowan. He welcomed the two back to his next session, beaming with appreciation. After a tense few months, Leanne was relieved to see her so at ease, and she gushed to her fiancé Nick Tilsley, Ben Price, about how insightful she found the meeting. Toya is skeptical of Rowan's ideas and later sees her sister watching one of his inspirational videos. Do you want to learn surprising EastEnder spoilers first? From Coronation Street, who is departing? The most recent rumors from Emmerdale? To ensure you never miss a storyline again, Metro.co.uk is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the most recent developments and current news directly to your phone. She tells Nick that she's reality coding in an effort to eliminate the unexpected when he discovers her with her eyes closed. Debbie Webster, Sue Devaney, the proprietor of Chariot Square, questions Rowan's intentions and informs Toya that she is relieved he is moving to the U.S. since she is tired of hearing his absurd beliefs. He starts to ramble on about reality coding until she notices him checking out, and she stops him, telling him that as a licensed counselor, she is aware that what he is saying might be harmful. 
Once they return to Victoria Court, she tells Nick to stop acting fraudulently and expresses her concern that the Autovalent Institute might be taking advantage of Leanne's weakness in order to steal her money. Later in the week, when Simon's new food delivery app business plan is well received by Leanne, things get even worse. Could this be a ruse to persuade Leanne to invest in the Institute? Has Simon slipped through Rowan's snare? Coronation Street's teen's departure plot has been confirmed, but there's a twist. Dylan Wilson, Liam McShane, is extremely anxious about the impending Coronation Street court case against bad bully Mason Radcliffe, Luca Tulin. Of course, going to court may be difficult for anyone, but Dylan is particularly anxious because of Mason's most recent threat. Dylan was misled into meeting Mason, who threatened to beat Sean, Anthony Cotton, if he didn't back down from his statement before the court hearing. Dylan has packed a knapsack and left the hotel where he has been staying with his mother, Violet, Jenny Platt, who plans to take him back to London after the trial is done. Dylan leaves early on the day of the trial. When Violet learns that her son is missing, she becomes distraught and goes to Coronation Street to inform Sean. Liam, Charlie Renschel, is enjoying breakfast in the restaurant while Gary, Mikey North, and Maria, Samia Longchambin, try to boost Liam's confidence for the hearing. Dylan is missing, Violet and Sean announce as they dash in. Liam heads home as Gary offers to assist in the search for Dylan. A awaiting telling him that Mason had threatened him, Dylan yanks him into the ginnel. Dylan suggests that instead of going to court and facing Mason, they should both run. Dylan is thinking about more than just facing his opponent on the court, he is also getting ready to say farewell to Weatherfield. Violet became enraged with Sean and accused him of being a horrible parent after learning how much trouble her son had gotten into. She was very much of the opinion that she should bring Dylan back to live with her in London. Do you want to learn surprising EastEnders spoilers first? From Coronation Street, who is departing? The most recent rumors from Emmerdale? To ensure you never miss a storyline again, metro.co.uk is now on WhatsApp, delivering all the most recent developments and current news directly to your phone. To gain access to spoiler pictures, must-watch videos, and exclusive interviews, sign up for the Metro Soaps WhatsApp community. You only need to click this link, choose Join Chat, and you're in. Remember to enable alerts so you may be informed when we've published new spoilers. Violet is adamant about her decision, despite Sean's distressing pleas for her to change her mind. Father and son exchange tearful farewells before Violet and Dylan make their way to the tram stop. Dylan tells Violet that he knows he has harmed many people in Weatherfield and that he wants to have the chance to make things right and make atonement, thus he doesn't want to go. Will Violet decide at the last minute to alter her mind and let Dylan live with Sean? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.